Hello. Okay, so Mrs. Bercy brought me a big whiteboard so I could do my lessons on now. So hopefully these are a lot easier for all of us to follow along on math now. So I'm going to talk about lesson 86. Lesson 86 goes along with yesterday's lesson where we were multiplying by 10, 100, and 1,000. Today we're going to be multiplying multiples of 10 and 100. So 40 is a multiple of 10. Which remember that 40 is just 4 times 10. And 30 is a multiple of 10 because 3 times 10 is 30. So we are going to be able to do these multiples in our head. So if you cover up these two zeros here, you just have the problem 4 times 3. And if you know your times tables, you know 4 times 3 is 12. And since we had two zeros that we covered up or counted, you're going to put two zeros in your product. So the answer of 40 times 30 is 1,200. Okay, example one says a group of football players lifted 80 pounds of weights 60 different times. How many pounds of weight did the players lift altogether? I'm going to underline our question. How many pounds of weight did the players lift altogether? Okay, well, we do know that they lifted 80 pounds and they lifted it 60 different times. So altogether, 80 times 60, we can cover up these two zeros, right? Pretend they're not there. And then we have 8 times 6, which is 48. Put those two zeros down in our product. And we are left with 4,800. We do need a label because it's a word problem. Going back to the question, it asks us how many pounds of weight did they lift together? So it's 4,800 pounds. You can write it out all the way like that. Or you can just write LB because LB is the abbreviation for pounds. Example two. A store has 30 ping pong paddles for sale at $7 each. How much money will the store receive if all of the paddles are sold? I'm going to underline the question here. How much money will the store receive if all of the paddles are sold? Okay, we need to find a total amount of money. We have 30 ping pong paddles and they're $7 each. So if you buy one ping pong paddle, that's $7. Two ping pong paddles is 14 and so on. So we're just going to keep adding 7 over and over and over. An easier way to do it is just to multiply. So 30 ping pong paddles times $7 each. I'm just going to write $7 just as a 7 because there are no cents to it. So this makes the problem a lot easier. So remember to cover up that 0. And then we just have 3 times 7. 3 times 7 is 21. Add that 0 back in in your product. And then we do need a label. and ask us how much money the store will receive. So $210 is your answer. If you kept the decimal in there, I'm going to show you how to find the answer there. So if I take 30, and then I'm multiplying that times $7 with the decimal places there. Okay, I'm still going to cover up all three zeros, and I still have just 3 times 7, which is 21. I'm going to put all three zeros down. And since we had two decimal places here in our money, that's our change. We're going to go two decimal places from the last digit, $210. Hopefully that's helpful. If not, I would do it this way for now. This is the easiest way. Okay, example three, last one. It asks us to multiply mentally 400 times 700. Do not rewrite this. I want you to be thinking of it in your head. So I'm going to pretend to cover up my zeros, and I'm going to count how many there are in my head. I found four zeros. I'm going to show you. One, two, three, four. 
So I'm going to remember those four zeros and I'm going to put those on in the product at the end. Now I'm left with four times seven. So I'm going to do that in my head. I know four times seven is 28. Now I have four zeros I need to add into my product. One, two, three, four. So that's a big number. I'm going to count from the back three places. That's where my comma should go. Okay, so if I answered this correctly, I should get 280,000.